Today, I'm going to show you how you can increase the memory in your phone with one of these, a little SD card. It's very simple, but I'm going to walk you through the entire process and check if you can even install new memory in your phone. So we should indeed just uh, proceed. First off, you'll need to, of course, get an SD card. Uh, and micro SD card is what you want and uh, the capacity <coughs> or size you want. Now, this one transfers uh, to up to 100 uh, megabit per second and the speed of where it can uh, transfer and uh, read and write decides how fast it will be. So, for example, if you're going to record 4K video, you want it to be, you know, decently uh, quick. But usually, um, the card when you buy them, they are rated for um, like 4K camera and something like that, and it's definitely fast enough then. If it's a little slower, it's probably fine, but you might have problem recording super high resolution footage. In any case, when you buy your uh, SD card, make sure that you buy it from a reliable supplier, because there are a lot of scam cards. Like this card is a complete scam. Uh, this card is uh, completely legit. Uh, so there are a lot of scam cards like this one on Wish, uh, Alibaba, Amazon. If it's super cheap, it's uh, probably fake. So buy a SD card from a reliable supplier. Otherwise, you probably just, uh, you know, the problem with the cheap card is that they, they are not actually the size they say they are. So when you're recording over the limit, old files just get deleted without you uh, seeing or noticing it. So you just make corrupted files. So when you buy an SD card, make sure it's from a reliable supplier so uh, you don't get scammed. There are a lot of scams out there. Just wanted to say that. But we're going to take our real SD card and install it in the phone. So uh, hang on. So, first things first, we should first install the little SD card here inside the phone. Rotate your phone all around until you find this little thing. Uh, inside here you can insert a pin or uh, preferably the tool that your phone was supplied with to just stick in this hole and press and the SIM card tray will then uh, be out. So just like that. Here we can see. Now your phone will probably complain. So there we have it, beautiful. There is my SIM card, of course. I'm well, gonna put that away for the time of being. And my old little card there. So what you do is you just place this little SD card inside this tiny tray, like that. And your SIM card as well, but I'm going to remove this soon, so this is just for tutorial purposes. So your SIM card and your SD card, and just insert it like that. Be a little bit careful, just like that, and click. Now it's in. And now we can begin the process inside the phone. And if your phone does not have space for a little SD card like that, well, chances are you cannot expand the memory at all on your phone, sadly. Most usually, phones that have capabilities for dual SIM card are the ones that also have capability to expand the memory uh, with another SD card. Which means you have to choose if you want expanded memory or two SIM cards um, in most cases. I think there are a few phones that have both double SIM and um, an SD card, but usually they look like this. This is a dual SIM phone. So, when you buy your next phone, you can check in the specifications if you can expand the memory or not. Because it's usually much cheaper to just put in, you know, another... Like, these 256 gigabyte cost me around um, $60 um, to, like, buy. But to buy a phone with more space than this one has is, like, more expensive. So, you basically... Um, you can save some money by uh, upgrading the space yourself. So let's go into the internal phone setup. And now we can see we get a little notification in the top left corner about a uh, SD card. It doesn't support or anything like that and we get a little um, notification here. You don't need to care about that, just remove it. And uh, now it asks us, how will you use this SD card? Use for extra phone storage or use for portable storage? And we're going to click phone storage. And then we'll get this um, little format option again, which we're going to click yes on. 
and uh, this is going to take a little while and it's going to be formatted. So uh, just let it format. Now you can get the option to move files, media and certain apps to this Samsung card. You don't need to do this but you can do it and for the sake of this video I'm going to select move content. Okay, so now the SD card should be a part of the system storage and you can see that uh, it has indeed increased quite much. So fantastic, uh, and uh, that is that. We have now increased our phone's memory. Now we are inside the phone again and uh, now you can see that we have uh, a little new notification. Unsupported Samsung SD card. Click on this one and it asks you to format the card. But uh, click that away and here we can see we can choose use for extra phone storage or use for portable storage. Now uh, I have found out that um, use it as extra phone storage can sometimes mess it up a little bit for you because if you want to remove it you will have problem with your system files and it's more like uh, your phone's memory is replaced by the SD card rather than uh, you'll have it all extra. So to have it all extra I actually would indeed set it up as portable storage. So click on that and uh, format the SD card. And as you can see Samsung SD card is now ready. So we just click done and uh, we can now see it inside uh, storage. We have both the SD card and the internal storage which uh, will give us the maximum available storage. Much better much better. So uh, actually you might want to expand your phone's memory but uh, to get the most of everything I instead would set it up as a you know removable device so you can remove it uh, if you want. You can like instead go into the camera app, settings and inside the settings we can set it to save to SD card because uh, realistically this is where uh, the biggest files will be kind of saved so there you kind of go you can set up which applications will store in the SD card you'll have much better control over the storage and where your files go and if you want to you can remove it to transfer it to other devices and stuff like that so uh, I would prefer using this and it's also easier to take your um, old SD card to a new phone as well. If you want to use it in a new phone then you can just uh, put it in there basically. Much better. Well folks, I hope you now will enjoy a larger storage space inside your phone that you can store a lot more files. So uh, enjoy your expanded memory and uh, well. If this video helped you, please leave a like and, you know, subscribe for future videos. This is your host, Jim Edison, signing out.